I cannot wait to show you this amazing insanity that we have prepared for you. So let's dive right in, let's go. You find yourself at the edge of the Whispering Woods, where rumor tells of a hidden temple that holds the legendary Sunstone. Two seasoned adventurers stand ready to join your quest, but they await your command to lead. Will you take the mantle of Sir Cedric, the knight with a valorous past? Or Ilara, the ranger known for her unmatched archery skills? Ilara. We need to pause here. So this was our first scene. And you see that we added GIF animations to this. And it's just blowing my mind how good this is, how good this this could work, actually. In the video of Elara in the dungeon, I prompted the AI with all of these rules um, how to create this adventure. And now it's not only personalized, it's even with animations, GIFs, movements, and it feels so immersive. And there's something so crazy at the end of the video that will blow your mind, I promise. But let's go, let's, let's roll this, let's watch it to the end. And by the way, we picked Elara and we now enter this dungeon. Uh, the ranger nods her acceptance and readies her bow. Together you edge closer to the decrepit temple, enveloped in an eerie silence. Mist whispers around your feet as ancient runes glimmer faintly across the temple walls. You face many dangers ahead. Will you proceed with caution or embrace the thrill of peril? So Choosing hardcore mode, Ilara steals her nerves and draws an arrow. So of course, we choose hardcore mode for this quest um, to give, give us a real challenge. And now let's enter this temple. Choosing hardcore mode, Ilara steals her nerves and draws an arrow, her eyes scanning the shadowy depths of the temple. The entrance is crisscrossed with webs and booby traps. Ancient carvings hint at untold secrets and dangers lying within. To proceed safely, Ilara needs to disarm a cleverly hidden trap that blocks the passage. How should she approach this initial test? Oh, man. So again here, a quick pause. We decided that her eyes are very good as an archer, so we use her eyesight to detect the trap and to disable it. Elara crouches low, her eyes meticulously scanning the complex trap before her. With a confident, steady hand, she deftly locates the key mechanism hidden beneath a deceptive cover stone. Careful manipulation of this vital component ensures safe passage. As the trap clicks harmlessly, the path clears, revealing deeper shadows filled with both danger and opportunity ahead. Elara progresses deeper into the temple's heart, her steps echoing softly. The corridor opens into a large chamber, dimly lit by an ethereal glow. Ancient relics surround a central pedestal, inviting yet foreboding. A sense of power pervades the air, whispering of hidden knowledge and lurking dangers. Elara must decide her next step cautiously as the atmosphere thickens with ancient magic. After disabling this trap and entering this main hall, Elara went carefully towards the the relic. Let's see what happens with this relic. Ilara carefully approaches the pedestal, her eyes wide with curiosity and caution. The relic resting there hums with a quiet power, its surface inscribed with elaborate runes that shimmer under her torchlight. A slight, almost imperceptible barrier of energy seems to encase it. To interact with this mystical artifact safely and uncover its secrets. Now it gets crazy. We said we want to embrace this energy. Um, let's see what the AI did with this. As Alara extends her hand towards the relic, her fingers barely graze the energy barrier when it reacts vividly. A surge of mystical energy bursts forth, illuminating the chamber with blinding light. The runes glow brighter and the air crackles with arcane power. In this moment of heightened magic, Ilara must quickly decide her next move to either harness or repel this unforeseen response. Even more crazy. I tested something, and this is the moment that you've been waiting for the most. Get this. My powers are unlimited. Isn't this just crazy? Like, lip syncing and animation from an image inside of a created game. Like, this is, this is mind-blowing. For me, this is the future of personal entertainment, like like creating every scene that you can imagine that is only limited to your own creativity. Like, oh, this is, this is so mind blowing to me. 
So I did this only here to showcase what could be in the future. And it was so easy. It was the first try, I swear. I did not uh, take a hundred trials and run this, run this again. It was the first try. And this is what strikes me the most. Let's finish this and then I will show you some of the tricks that I used to create these videos. Elara firmly grips the relic, feeling the intense energy coursing through her body. The power is overwhelming and the chamber is ablaze with light. Elara struggles to maintain control as the magic flows more fiercely than she anticipated. Now she needs to quickly decide whether to release the relic to avoid harm or continue holding on, hoping to stabilize and harness this wild arcane energy. Of course, we harness the energy, we want to get stronger, we want to defeat this dungeon boss. That's why I said, take the risk again and let's see what happened. Elara, with a determined grasp, channels her inner strength and begins to harmonize with the relic's energy. The chaotic magic starts to stabilize, turning from overwhelming to a state she can manipulate. As she masters the surge, a clear path forward reveals itself, presenting her with new options on how to use this power. Now we could choose for which purpose we can use this power, and we choose to open a door with it. And let's see, what kind of door was it? Of course, it was the door of the freaking dungeon boss. That's right. As the massive door groans open, Elara steps into a vast dungeon chamber. Flickering torches cast eerie shadows on the walls. At the far end, the dungeon boss, a colossal figure clad in ancient armor, awaits. The air is thick with tension as Alara prepares for the inevitable confrontation. Ready for battle, she faces a critical decision on her approach. Well, entering an opening door looks in reality a bit different. This one is more like a portal in a PC game, but it's good enough. Like I said, it was all first tries with this AI, just giving it a simple prompt and then uh, creating this this image. With a resolute battle cry, Elara charges head on at the towering dungeon boss. The ground shakes with each step the boss takes, meeting her charge with a menacing growl. Swords clash and sparks fly as they engage in a fierce melee combat. This is the moment Elara has been preparing for and her skills are put to the ultimate test. Now she must decide her next move in this intense battle. This was the final scene that I recorded and tension couldn't be higher. I think even with this animations and sounds uh, and music, it's much more in realistic in inside your head. I hope that you look forward to these features like sound lip syncing, GIF animations, all features on our roadmap, um, still in development and be ready for launch of the app will be very soon. And now I will show you how I added the music of this video. So in inside the creator of Suno AI, we can just add the prompt and I will make it very simple. And I already clicked on instrumental and the newest uh, version. Let's just say it's background music for a fantasy dungeon adventure. This is a very simple prompt and let's see how fast it is and if you can use this for our video. And this is real time now. And as you can see, um, we have lots of sounds already created um, because it's just so much fun of creating, creating sound and music, uh, even with lyrics um, personalized. And you can see how fast it is. It's done already. Let's, let's hear, listen to this music. Yeah, I like the first one already. Ooh, now it gets some more details, some more vibes in the background. I like this one. I would use this one already, but let's go for the second one also. It always creates two. Oh, this is darker. Okay, this is darker. Ooh, this is really dark. I don't know which one I should prefer. Oh, okay, this is engaging. Call for action right inside of my head. 
Oh, this is perfect. I will go with this one. Um, it creates life. So as you can see, it's not finished. And I think it will create up to two minutes, probably. And then we may have to loop this one in, in, the, in the video. And of course, when we implement this into our app, um, it will always be activatable, deactivatable, and will loop in the background. And you will always have like an instrumental for your for your games. And I hope that you enjoy uh, enjoyed this little making off uh, on how I tricked this music into this app right now and how it might look in the future. And just a little spoiler here for what will come. And I hope you subscribe, like, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.